welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. Just a quick reminder before I get started, don't forget to subscribe. I'm bringing you this wig review today for PinkyPromise.com. Go to the Pinky Promise website and sign up to receive their emails and you can get a code to save 30%. You can also email support at PinkyPromise.com if you ever have any wig related questions. So today we're gonna take a look at a wig that has been around for a while, but it's a, a style that I have never tried. This is Code Mono by Ellen Villa and the color on this one is Light Bernstein Rooted. More on her in just a minute. Okay, let's start talking about Code Mono by Ellen Villa. So excited to finally get to try this one. I know it's been out for a while. It's part of their hair power collection and been out for a few years and has been reviewed a lot, but you've never seen it on me and you've never heard my opinion. So I hope that will have some value to you. So a uh, very, very pretty style. So this is regular synthetic, not heat friendly. So, um, it kind of reminds me of like Kushi Kumana from Beltress, but of course that one is heat friendly. So you could add curl and stuff. This is regular synthetic. So um, not recommended that you put heat on, you know, these regular synthetic fibers, but she's super low density and um, she's a petite average fit. She's fitting my head perfectly, ear to ear, perfect, forehead to nape, perfect circumference. I haven't taken any adjusters. There's always a little extra room, not a whole lot on this one though forehead to nape even. I think this one is going to be petite and maybe right to average, but I don't know about above average. It seems like it's a pretty nicely petite uh, fitting wig. So, but really, really pretty. I like the just, you know, straight flat ironed look. She's got a little texture on the ends. There is a little uh, layering here as we go down towards the ends. So really pretty, you know, the hair moves nicely. So, um, you know, a little bit of a long bang layer here in the front and you could certainly cut a bang into that you know or have your stylist do so so really really pretty so i'll do a turn so you can see her all the way around then we'll get into all of her specs so here we are from the front she feels like nothing i mean she's just so lightweight and so easy to wear i i really like the density so here's my left the back My right and then back to the front okay so she is a lace front it is not extended temple to temple it only goes to the top of the ear tabs so uh, but the knots look pretty good they lighten those knots up towards the front and on this light Bernstein rooted those knots are not that dark anyway so I'll show you the part the only thing I had to do with this out of the box is this one piece you know it was zigzagged so you can see this one piece still wants to kind of stick up. I just had to wet that and just kind of hold it down and keep smoothing it. So that's the only thing that I did was open that part and just adjust that one little piece a little bit. So she comes boxed. It was kind of like Fort Knox getting her out of there. She's one of these that comes on the long tube and she's got a net over her and then she's got a stocking over her and that stocking is wrapped up and I'll show you the box. And the box is gigantic. <laughs> I think it's the biggest box I've ever seen. So, but she, they box her that way so that, you know, these fibers are staying completely straight. They're not going to get bent and kinked in the box. So that's really, really nice. So, okay. All right. Measurement wise for her front here is five inches, 10 and a half inches here at the crown, 11 and a half inch on the sides and an 11 and a half inch nape. They say she weighs four ounces. Uh, she feels like she weighs two. <laughs> she literally feels like there's nothing on my head. She is so lightweight. So, so really, really pretty style. Okay, I'll pop her off and we can look at the interior of her cap. All right, there's your part up close. So we can look at the inside here. I mean, she is just so dainty and light. It's just amazing. Okay, so there's your left mono part. Goes almost back to the crown. So it still has a very nice, you know, appearance there. Plenty of parting space. And then this is what I'm talking about, about your lace front, not an extended lace front that goes down onto your ear tabs. So really just forehead coverage on that lace front. Soft felt ear tabs with a nice piece of metal. I have good coverage around the face too. I forgot to show you all that. I'll show it to you when I'm doing the color. Open wefted cap, extended soft felt nape, Velcro adjusters. These caps do have some stretch and there is some stretch in the circumference. But like I said, I think this is going to stay uh, petite to average. I'll show you these ear tabs. I've got really good coverage. 
like I said, it's fitting me great ear to ear. So I have a little bit of bio hair here. So, you know, if you have more than that, you might have more hair showing there. Okay, so let's talk about this beautiful color. So this is Light Bernstein Rooted. This is one of my favorite Ellen Villa colors. I just think it's a beautiful, warm color with a lot of dimension. Um, got, you know, has a lot of gold in it. And uh, I like the rooting color. I think the root is a nice match for the rest of the colors. Just really, really a pretty color. So description wise for Light Bernstein Rooted, it's a light auburn, light honey blonde and light reddish brown blend with dark brown roots. Now they don't say that it has a highlight or anything, but it just, it has dimension to it. So just keep that in mind that those colors that are blended, you do see some, some light and dark going through there. And I think also the rooting contributes to that, you know, so, so there's your root. You're going to see that rooting around the face. You'll see it at the nape. You'll see it anywhere you separate the hair for styling. So So here we are with just the overhead room lighting, still an artificial light. So you're still gonna get some shine. Remember these are brand new synthetic fibers straight out of the box. So they need a little um, dry shampoo or cornstarch on them to tamp down that shine. And then they usually look more natural, so. Okay, here we are under my patio cover. So again, you can see the dimension so they don't call it highlighted, but it looks highlighted to me. Maybe when they say blend, they consider that like, you know, a blend where you can see all those colors not blended together. So there's your lace. If you like a light, warm, kind of a bronze color, this is a great one. Here we are in the shade and natural light. My neighbor's AC just came on, sorry about that. And here we are in the sun. The sun's gonna have a lot of glare on this color. So one thing I want to remind you of is with these long straight fibers, you're gonna want to have your white tooth comb with you, comb through her, particularly the nape, where it's gonna rub up against your clothes and stuff, you know, throughout the day. Just try to keep these nice and straight, comb them very gently. Um, Ellen Villa fibers are really baby fine. They look a lot like, you know, real hair, which I love, but they can be a little tender. So, you know, just make sure you're keeping her combed out throughout the day, if you get in wind or whatever, you know, the more you can keep those tangles combed out, the longer you're gonna have, no, lifespan you're gonna have for your wigs, so. So, we can look at glasses and all that kind of stuff. So she's super easy to tuck behind the ears. She's so low density, I just, I love it. I, she's so natural, just love it. So glasses are no problem. Glasses up on your head, sunglasses, readers, whatever. No problem, very easy. We can put a headband on her. So that bang layer was five inches. So I think you could get that bang to stay. Uh, no, maybe not. Just let the bang layer fall out a little bit. It'll probably stay initially and then kind of start to fall out, you know, but um, it's not super bad about flopping in the face or anything. So I think you'll, you can just kind of side sweep it and it'll work just fine. But she looks cute with a headband. Really cute. And then of course you can do half up, half down with her. She's got, you know, plenty of length for that. That looks really cute. You can do ponytails, you can do braids, you can do updos, you can do all sorts of stuff with her. She should make kind of a cool, funky ponytail with the layers and the texture of the hair. That looks cool. You know, you could do like a twist. Just make sure your extended nape is flat back there, you know, twist and kind of let these funky layers stick out or something. That would look, look cool too. So really cool. Lots of neat things that you can do with her. She's got just enough length, you know, to 
be able to play around with her and do some fun styling. Of course, with this nice lace front, you can also, you know, pull that hair off, uh, that bang layer away from the face if you want to, you know, if you need to be looking down at work or whatever, you know, um, and you feel like it's flopping in your face. But I'm, I'm finding it's, it really goes to the side very, very easily. The way it was boxed, it was boxed with the hair like this. So it just came out of the box, you know, other than, like I said, this one little piece from the zigzag part, it came out of the box just perfectly straight and no wonky, you know, bent fibers or anything like that, which is why they box it that way. So, so I want to thank Pinky Promise for sending this link to review for you all today. There will be purchase information in the drop down box down below this video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.